Welcome to this week's Maryland's Missing and the Murdered. Maryland's Missing and the Murdered is a weekly YouTube channel that covers the topic of missing and murdered individuals from the state of Maryland. Just wanted to let you know in the upcoming weeks that these episodes will be brief due to the upcoming holidays. But I wanted to give you a little something something. This week I am up covering the murder of Barbara Barba Caroma. On July 26, 2019, 62-year-old Barba Caroma, a politician from Sierra Leone and a scientist of the National Institute of Health, was driving his 17-year-old son, with the same name Barba, to the library in Bowie, Maryland, so he could do his homework for summer school. The two started arguing while Barba was driving. 17-year-old Barba began to stab his father, leading the car to crash through a fence. When the car stopped, 17-year-old Barba began to drag his father's body into the woods. Authorities responding to the scene saw Barba walking out of the woods with a blood trail from the crashed car into the woods. Unfortunately, the elder, elder Barba did not survive Investigators discovered that a week prior, the younger Barba was in a, the hospital in a psych ward. He told authorities, quote, I see images of the devil, end quote, and described his struggles with insomnia, depression, and suicidal thoughts. He was charged with first degree murder and told the judge, that his mind was taken over by his father. The judge then ordered a mental evaluation. On September 2nd, 2020, Barbara Caroma was found guilty but not criminally responsible for his father's murder due to his mental illness. Barbara Caroma is being held at a psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane. Thank you for joining me this week. If there is a Maryland's missing or murdered case that you would like to see on this channel, please email me at marylandsmissing at gmail.com. Music is by Silent Vengeance. Sources will be listed in the outro. Please like and subscribe. Click the bell so you will be notified when the next cases are released. I will see you again next week. Be kind to one another. You never know what will happen tomorrow.